hello people how are you all doing i hope everyone is doing it great thank you so much for stopping by once more today my name is karen and on this channel you will see a little bit of hair care hairstyles makeup hair diys so on today's video i'll be trying this half uh feeding braid and half crochet so if you're interested please keep watching so i started off with this uh box braid no corn rope pattern uh, it doesn't have to be perfect just do something like it could be bigger or smaller and the crochet hair i'll be using is this water wave it's from the brand called zori so i believe any water wave from any other brand will work uh, equally well it's 20 inches and the color one so uh, it comes in uh, three bundles per pack so i have um, three packs uh, which makes a total of nine bundles i ended up using i think seven bundles in total or six and a half probably because the last pack i just basically took out just a few strands so i'm just starting off with uh crocheting the back of my hair where i have the corn rows um if you watch closely you will if you don't know how to crochet you just need to watch closely and you'll get a hang of it so you just insert your large hook um sometimes i forget to open it uh to close it i but it still goes through so the, like this one was open but it, it still went through because the braid is quite loose and when i'm sending in the crochet hair i take in just one piece to tie it so one time is enough because the the hair is long it won't get loose it won't i don't know you you don't need to do this twice just one knot is perfectly okay so this was one pack one pack really goes a long way i was actually really shocked so that's the second pack i'm on on doing and just filling up my hair with it so here i'm just filling out the spaces i feel like they're empty i just use my hand to guide me you know yeah uh and one thing i also want you to note is do the cornrows a little bit loose so that this large hook won't uh, it wouldn't feel painful when you're sending in the large hook so that's what i did and again do the box uh i keep saying box braid the, the corn rows uh at your own size like choose you could choose to do it smaller or even bigger than what i did it literally won't show because the crochet hair is covering everything up so and yeah i'm a beginner at drawing my lines so if you notice my lines are a little bit crooked but at the same time i wasn't too bothered because literally everything gets covered up at the end and yeah you just have to admire the beauty of the hair and you don't even have much to bother with the lines anymore so yeah once i was done doing the crochet i just tied my hair to keep it away and then i proceeded to do the feeding braids which was like the hardest part because i'm still like really learning how to corn roll and add hair you know yeah so i just went ahead to divide my hair in the middle and i did five feeding braids on each side so a total of 10. so i have this gel that um i <laughs> i've had that job for like two years but i usually go with the shine and jam but on this day i just remembered i had this it works equally like the shine and jam so i just put it so that i can have like a cleaner line as yeah it, it also does quite a good job as a shine and jam so yeah i just put what, that one side away and then i went ahead to work with the other side so for this first section uh, that is closer to the ear i think i used just one strand of hair 
yeah remember to if you want to use a, a jam just go ahead and use it but if you don't want it's fine I just prefer doing this because it gives the hair a, a cleaner look at the end yeah so I'm using the same crochet hair so I usually just separate one and then I just use I separate one so I, it gives me two so for this one I think I use two but for the other ones I use like three because they are bigger so this is the part where I will let you guys just watch as I do my thing because it's uh, it's a little bit hard for me to explain but I believe if you follow along you really just get what I am doing so I think I'll just leave you guys to listen to some music or to some sound or to some beats while I do my thing I like looking a lot up at my camera is because I've been a victim of my camera not recording and then I only realize after I finished doing the hair so don't mind me if I'm looking a lot at my camera I'm just making sure that it's recording because it really hurts when you do a video and at the end you realize that it was not recording it's a different kind of pain and there's no way except you want to go back undo your hair and start doing it back so yeah so i just wanted to to let you guys know what is up <laughs> so i think i was on the third piece here already um just doing my thing just i didn't even need this to be perfect because i kind of wanted it to be rough so that it will just uh, blend with the crochet hair yeah so um, I didn't even want the hair to the filling braid to be too smooth at especially at the ends you are halfway through this video and if you are watching up to this stage it's only fair for you to go ahead and subscribe 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 uh, remember to uh, also like the video and always remember to comment something you know there must be something about the video that you want to comment about if you have a question it could be a question a suggestion or anything just to keep the video interactive you know so um, here I'm just on the last piece <laughs> which I was kind of struggling because it kind of got tangled at the end there but yeah uh, with a little bit of pauses and some tactics I got through it <laughs> and yeah so usually what I'll do is if it's getting tangled up a lot I will add a little bit of mousse and then it will like it will just slide slide smoothly so uh, that's what I did on this particular piece I didn't do it on all the pieces only when there is need because as I said earlier I didn't really want it to be too smooth so because the crochet hair is kind of wavy so yeah so that was the last piece and I was going uh, here I was just going to put my beads uh, I'll show you guys two ways I used to put my bead here the first way was using this large hook that I used previously to do my crochet at the back so you just put in your beads and then you open your large hook insert the tip uh, the end of your hair pull it through and then you uh, take the uh, then you bend the hair and then on the last bead you just tie tie the rubber band around it and then once you're done doing that you just cut off the excess hair remaining and yeah that's literally all I do for that part and then the second method I use was it's literally a a hook just for beads like it's this is the purpose for this one 
it's meant to in install your beads and hair jewelries and all that so it's literally the same thing that you do you could also use a big bobby pin those very jumbo ones i didn't have them so uh, i had just the smaller ones so i will only show you these two methods yeah so i guess the other methods i don't know uh, i didn't have what i needed to show you guys so i just show you guys these two so the feeding braids were 10 pieces and this is how it looked when I installed all of them. You know, the jeep is riding and today was totally inappropriate to be all out uh, of the speech. Yeah, it was just a variety of beats that I... Nothing like uniform, just anyhow. <laughs> so after that was out of the way, I went ahead to try and lay down my edges. Even though I am also really really not good at this but um just to make it a little bit presentable just just for the hair to lay down you know so after i laid down my hair i put, applied some mousse the mousse i'm using here is from cream of nature its job is just to tame away all those uh, hair standing like all those frizzy hair so i just sprayed it i also sprayed it on the crochet just so that everything lays down nice and smooth and after everything i just tied my hair down while i did a little bit of makeup and yeah this is the way i look after probably an hour now i was just feeling myself you know you know achieving a hairstyle for the first attempt it, it's always like a very big achievement for me so i was kind of really happy let me know what you think are you going to try this hairstyle or are you going to let someone do it for you so let me know what you think in the comments and oh my god no i really love this hair i won't lie so thank you all so much for watching thank you for staying tuned and Remember to subscribe and we'll see each other on the next upload, okay?